Now that we're in the late stages of the first season, Manibus is upon us. This is a world event. Just like all the other world events, you can teleport to it freely. But be warned, this is a level 50 event. I'm going to show you what my experience was with Manibus and how I actually kind of cheesed him. <laughs> so let me show you what to expect when you face Manibus. <laughs> As you get into range of the event, the tentacles will spew from the sky. Manibus is a level 50 creature with three separate tentacles for arms. There is a 30 minute timer on this event to try and defeat as much of Manibus as possible within that time. Manibus has lasers, Manibus will shoot orbs, and Manibus will manifest other creatures of varying kinds to attack you. Each arm of Manibus is a separate health bar. Thankfully, attacking one of the arms and then switching to another one will not reset the health. And simply put, you need to survive and just do enough damage within the time frame. Each arm will have a bracelet of those sea anemone looking creatures. Down its forearm, they will also be present. These are the areas that you are aiming for to get the critical hits. Please note, as you continue to damage Manibus, those sea anemones will disappear from her wrist and forearm, forcing you to make more precise shots as the battle wages on. As you see, the area I'm at is kind of cheesing Manibus. Usually, the orbs from one of our arms hits the building to my left, and the arm that gets closest to me, the orbs actually hit the ground more often than they hit me. This is what I received when I defeated Manibus. I have only done this once, so I cannot tell if it's the same prize each time. And that adventurers pretty much wraps it up. It's a straightforward fight, just time consuming and takes up a lot of ammo, especially when you're by yourself. Like and subscribe to be notified of all future content. And adventurers, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye